stop exercising to lose weight. Um, in America, we have preached and preached and preached that in order to lose weight, you just burn more calories and you'll lose more weight, and um, that's just simply not true. I constantly counsel people that come to see me for a functional medicine perspective on, on how to lose weight, and one of the first things I actually tell them to do is stop working out so hard. You have to listen to your body, and I'm gonna teach you how to listen to your body and your mitochondria. So my name's Dr. Philip Oob. I'm a functional medicine doctor here in Austin, Texas, and we're gonna learn about how to listen to your body. One of the first questions I ask when someone's exercising, and I'm worried that it's too much for their system, is I ask, how do you feel after you finish exercising? If you were exhausted and need a nap after you finish exercising, then you did too much. You do not lose weight by burning calories. You, if you try to eat one Oreo and try to run off that Oreo, you're never gonna make it. The first step is to heal your gut, heal your inflammation, and work on your nutrition. You lose weight in the kitchen, and you get fit in the gym. Is exercise a vital part of our lives? Absolutely. Is exercise needed to maintain optimal wellness? Absolutely. Is, um, has exercise been proven to reduce dementia? Absolutely. But it's not the first step that you need to make you need to listen to your body and so if you finish in an exercise routine as long as you don't feel exhausted and that you can do the same exercise routine tomorrow then that's a good exercise routine for you right now no matter where it is it doesn't matter if it's just stretching before you get up and do your day um, if it's walking around the block whatever doesn't completely exhaust you and you can do it the next day is a good exercise regimen while you working on while you are working on yourself so one of the things I often help people with is mitochondrial function. You may not know what that means. Your mitochondria are tiny little um, pieces inside of your cell. They're called organelles, or a tiny little organ inside of every cell, and they manufacture energy for you. They are your life force. Without them, you cannot survive. And we can slaughter them by eating hamburgers and having inflammation and not having enough antioxidants, not enough color in our fruits or in our foods, including fruits. Um, and, and we can damage these mitochondria. They are hundreds to thousands to even millions in some uh, of mitochondria in some of our cells. So if you want to take care of them, the first way is to actually feed them. Feed them the antioxidants because the, the mitochondria is the engine of your cell. It is creating energy. Just like the engine in your car, whenever your engine is running, it's creating exhaust. If the engine is not running, there's not exhaust coming out. So every time one of those mitochondria are creating energy, they're creating exhaust. And if you're not giving the mitochondria the tools to detoxify all that exhaust, then you're not gonna feel better. You're not gonna improve your energy. So if you're suffering from fatigue, you wanna focus on your mitochondria, do some Googling, read about what you can do to boost mitochondrial function. Number one is gonna be eat as many vegetables as you can get in you. At least five cups a day, upwards of 10 to 12 cups a day. And I don't care what type they are, but you wanna aim for colorful, vibrant fruits and vegetables. The ones that we struggle as Americans with, research has proven, are the blues and purples. So make sure you're getting those dark blues and dark purples in your diet. I don't care if it's a purple grape or a blueberry or an eggplant, make sure you get those deep pigments into your diet. Those are found to have lots of antioxidants to help restore your energy. If you're looking for supplements, ways to boost your mitochondria, then one of the key ingredients is alpha lipoic acid, and I usually recommend 300 milligrams twice a day, um, although you can go higher. Alpha lipoic acid can drop your blood sugar, so you wanna be careful with the higher doses. dosages, work your way up and do it with a physician. Um, number two is SAMI. SAMI, um, I, has some great energy producing benefits, but I do caution, it makes some people anxious. And if I know your genetics, I can help you help guide you through that. But if you're just gonna take SAMe without a doctor supervision, then you may wanna watch out for that. If that side effect happens, just stop the SAMe and it normally goes away pretty quickly. And then glutathione, you wanna make sure you're making enough glutathione. The primary um, area that your glutathione is used is in your mitochondria. Your glutathione is your master antioxidant. The, it is the antioxidant that you make. For instance, if giants ate humans, they would farm us for our glutathione just like we eat fish for, our, for the omega-3. Glutathione is your most precious antioxidant. So if you do not have enough antioxidant, then when your mitochondria are creating energy, they create these what we call oxygen radicals, and these oxygen radicals are damaging. And so if you don't have enough glutathione and you don't have the ability to get rid of those oxygen radicals, then that oxygen radical is gonna damage the mitochondria and then it's gonna become dysfunctional and not work. 
it's as if your engine were going down the if your car were going down the road and your engine were making heat just like it always does and your radiator goes out and it, it can't cool the engine anymore well the engine's going to shut down it's going to overheat and it's going to break down the same thing with your mitochondria if it cannot handle the biochemical exhaust then you're in trouble and it's going to it's going to die you're not going to have as many mitochondria so if you're suffering from fatigue poor energy poor sleep really we could take this mitochondrial dysfunction thing to any any medical problem really but focus on those few things I told you. Eat as many vegetables as you can, as much color, blue and purple especially, and um, try to aim upwards of 10 cups a day. I hope this helps. If you know someone that's struggling from fatigue um, or is just struggling to, to lose weight, get to that next level of, of health that they're aiming for, then maybe you should tell them to stop exercising for a while and eat more vegetables. Thanks, and I hope this video helps you.